Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into a highly requested recipe that I posted on my Instagram a few weeks ago. They're stuffed mushrooms. Um, they're super quick, super easy, and if you like mushrooms, I'm pretty sure you will love this recipe. I cannot lie to you. These mushrooms are inspired by Olive Garden. Anybody who's my age, you guys remember back in the day, middle school, high school, when we used to go to Olive Garden and order these stuffed mushrooms. Um, it's my own recipe that I created with all of the ingredients, pretty much the same ingredients that I use for the oysters. If you watch my oyster video, I really don't measure my ingredients, but I will do my best to give you estimates on what I use down in the description box. And as always, I have everything already prepped and ready to go, chopped up and ready to mix. So let's get started. All right, so first I have my breadcrumbs. This is my breadcrumb mix. I have breadcrumbs, I have Italian seasoning. If you don't have this, you can get rosemary, thyme, sage, and some other dried herbs and pretty much make your own breadcrumb mix. So I have breadcrumbs in here and I have Italian seasoning. And then I have parsley, chopped parsley, chopped and dried parsley. And I have some red crushed peppers as well as some shaved parm that is chopped and ready to go. I have a slice of lemon, I have garlic, I have Worcestershire, and green onions, chopped and ready to go. And then here, as you can see, I have my prawns, six large prawns that are ready to go. I'm gonna chop those up, mince those up, and then we'll start mixing everything and incorporating everything together. look that's what you're looking for hi I'm here to help with my mom cook stuffed mushrooms are you excited to try stuffed mushrooms <laughs> kind of <laughs> <laughs> all right so first things first what we're gonna do is we're gonna add half of this butter into the bowl here okay mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut how much I want you to use. About that much. Okay. So half of the butter? Yep. All right, and I just need you to slowly pour everything else in here. Mm -hmm. All of it? Yep. So he's gonna mix in all the ingredients into our bowl. Just like it was Yeah. Good. We got our breadcrumbs there. We have our crushed red pepper. We have our garlic. That's garlic? Mm hmm. Look at this. Can we just dump this? No, we're going to squeeze our lemon. Just going to do a little squeeze there. We have our Worcestershire. What? Worcestershire. Okay. So for the green onions, we're going to do. Pretty much all of them will save some for the garnish at the end. And the same thing with the cheese. We want to save some of the cheese for the end. Okay, what piece of cheese? Should be good. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is 
incorporate all of this together. cleaned I washed them off dried them off and I pulled a little bit of the rim off to make it easier for filling so I have 10 mushrooms here and I'm gonna start filling those with the actual filling and then we're gonna pop those in a 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes with foil on in the oven. All right guys, so this is what the mushrooms look like. They have been on 375 for about 22 minutes. I did 15 minutes with the foil on. I did an additional seven minutes with the foil off. And now we're gonna sprinkle on our cheese and then we'll be ready for broil. how it came out let me know how you guys like this